Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. So today I'm here with two more uh, books that I have made and they're both kind of nature-esque. So I'm filming these two together. Um, this one is a standard size tee and this one is eight and a quarter by five and they're both fabric covers. Yeah, let's go ahead and flip through and take a look and see. All right, so we'll start with this one. Um, this one is like a na um, nature flower slash tree theme. And as you can see, I just went with kind of a natural look on the cover and it's um, fabric, like I said, and I just sewn on little patches of burlap here and there, as you can see. And that's what that looks like. And then I've just got some jute here, holding it closed. And then I used uh, Mrs. Cog's kit flowering trees and I thought that was kind of fitting. So um, I'll link to her digital kit in the description box below. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get, get started. So on the inside, I just kind of roughly lined it with some muslin and then I just patched on some pieces of brown lace. And then, like I said, these are all Mrs. Cog's images. A little pocket here. On the edge of the pages, I had gotten some gifts for my birthday from Shayna, and she wrapped a lot of them in this jute, which is this same one here. Um, so I'm just using those on, this, on the edge of the pages just to give it kind of like a natural kind of look, as you can see with the burlap and the jute. And then there's three charms on this one as well. So a little bit of fabric scrap there. There's some coffee stain paper, just different varieties of paper in here. These little uh, note pages, I just stapled them together to give more writing space. So this tree paper was really pretty, I thought. It's a little Piece can flip out and you can write under that. It's so pretty. There's the one charm there. Oh, I skipped one also. This one has a little fish on it. And this one is the other charm that I accidentally skipped. Just some pearls. So in this one, I just stitched this piece on. You can flip it up and right underneath. There's the third charm. This one has like a little bee, some kind of flying bug on there. <laughs> I just stitched that one onto the page. This one flips out and then there's a little pocket here. And you can do some writing here. This little secret tag in there. And there's my stamp. 
So that's the end of this one, flowering trees. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Um, obviously the closures on these are temporary because uh, they're gonna go inside of Traveler's Notebooks, but you know, you can use these closures for other things in the future. <laughs> so this one is going to be like a mushroom theme. And as you can see, it's a fabric cover. And I just put a little bit of lace at the top and um, so this is what it looks like pretty and then it's kind of like a mushroom sort of theme so I wanted all those pretty like mushroom kind of colors here brown and burgundy green red um, all like that so again I will link to digital kits in the description box below so there's a little pocket here here tuck spot I did a lot of sewing along the edges here Plenty of space to write. These little jars, I just cut these to be like little writing pieces. And this one flips out for more writing space. Again, these kinds, I don't know, personally, I like to read these kinds of things, but <laughs> you can also just, you know, glue some stuff down over it. Big fabric piece here. Look familiar? It's the last piece of this. <laughs> This is sorry silk. So lots of little pieces in here that you can move around, you can journal on them. There's another one of those little double-sided mushroom jars in here. Some green sari there. Little burlap pocket, that's so cute. This one really reminded me of mushrooms. And in the back I have some more of that little lined paper that I just stapled together with a burlap pocket and there's my stamp. <laughs> so that is mushrooms. So those are the two for today. Um, I do have more coming up so stay tuned for those. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go. These two are already spoken for but I will be having some things coming up Etsy store soon, so stay tuned for that. And I'm going to go ahead and go. So be sure to tune in next time because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is going into. So until next time, toodaloo.